Hij voor mij. Ik word zie. Het is top. Fritz was born on February 26, 2013. Fritz says baby was just, he was uh, a little bit more mild-mannered than his older brother. Very cuddly. Easygoing. Yeah. Quiet. But if he was hungry or had a dirty diaper, he'd definitely let you know it. His older brother's very busy, so I think that that set the tone for us, ex you know, what do you expect with your second? He would go from the calm, cool, collected kid, and then the independence came and he would turn into a fierce lion. We first became concerned about Fritz's health when he was two and a half years old. Fritz had some symptoms which you would think were just a typical cold, flu virus, but because he had the symptoms along with the main symptom, which was leg pain one morning, and he had a little bit of a fever that went along with it. But after his nap time later on that day, he woke up, he was running around, he was just fine. Fritz woke up that Saturday morning about four in the morning moaning with a fever and just inconsolable, just in pain. Our pediatrician said, Fritz is looking a little punkier than usual and he has a swollen spleen. So this could mean that he just is fighting a virus or, and I finished her sentence, I said, or it's leukemia and she said, yeah. Looking at her son, I wanted to be just a cold. I wanted it to be the flu. They even talked about it in the ER. They said it could have mono. I was hoping for that. We were referred to UC Davis for their oncology review. We sat there for probably about 10 minutes, kind of numb. The ER doctor came in and she said, I don't know how to tell you this, but we found blast in, in your son's blood. That following morning, we knew he was diagnosed with B-cell all. B cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I didn't want it to be this. I didn't think it would be. I, what are the chances that somebody's gonna tell me that my son has cancer? That's just not gonna happen. Along with our diagnosis of getting hit with your son has cancer, we also had the wonderful prognosis of you have an 85 to 95 chance, percent chance of a cure. And when you hear that, you, you instantly think hope. And you think, we have a chance. And and when you know you have a chance, you just have to do everything in your power to stay on that trajectory. The, the treatment cycle that we went through on the front end, it was, it was uh, like a, a little bit of a roller coaster. Started out with a lot of steroids, and then we would do different types of chemotherapy along the way. Everything from putting, using syringes at home where we had to do injections. Um, Anna and I had to do them into Fritz's leg um, with chemo. By the end of this, we will have watched Fritz go under anesthesia about 30 times. <laughs> Fritz is doing remarkable. Uh, we haven't been readmitted to the hospital which is an accomplishment unto itself. He hasn't uh, had any serious illness. December 11, 2018 will mark the end in treatment. We will still be doing antibiotics for another six months after that, so carry us through July of 2019. But that will be our last day of doing chemotherapy. And from that point on, we watch. The research and the, the funding of the research that the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society has done um, at, has really allowed us and other families like us to be able to sleep at night. It's what, it's what gives us hope. Thank you, Wakiya, for study. Fritz. Super Fritz. <laughs>